Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, so we're doing integration by parts, and number seven asks us to find the integral of the quantity of x squared plus 2x times cosine x dx. And since this is integration by parts, I need to decide which factor I want to set equal to u and which factor I want to set equal to dv. And then I will need to find the derivative of u and I will need to find the integral of dv. So I want to set u equal to x squared plus 2x, this factor. And that means that dv will have to be what's left, which will be cosine x dx. And when I take the derivative of u, I get 2x plus 2 dx. And when I take the integral of dv, I get sine x. Now we've done the hard part by deciding which factor we wanted to set equal to u and which factor we wanted to set equal to dv. We found the derivative of u and we found the integral of dv. So now take a moment and see if you can plug these values into this formula and see if you can tell us what the integral of the quantity of x squared plus 2x times cosine x dx will be equal to. And when we come back, we'll compare our answers and I'll take you through the rest of the integral. Welcome back to mathandsciencepower.com. Okay, let's plug in our values. So this integral, u dv, will equal u times v. So u times v will be this quantity times this quantity. So that's going to be equal to the quantity x squared plus 2x times sine x. And then I'll have to subtract the integral of v times du. So v is sine x and du is 2x plus 2 dx. So I'm going to subtract the integral of, I'm going to write this quantity first, 2x plus 2 times sine x dx. And this problem is a trick because we will actually have to use integration by parts again. Um, you can see that originally we had x squared plus 2x times cosine. And here we have 2x plus 2 times sine. So this factor was reduced by a degree when we did our first integration by parts. And hopefully when we do our integration by parts again, this will reduce down to a constant. So see we went from x squared and x to just an x and then a constant. So here I'm going to set u equal to 2x plus 2 and dv is going to equal sine x dx so that du will equal 2 dx and then v will equal the integral of this which is negative cosine x so now that I have my values for u, du, dv, and v I can make these substitutions into our formula for integration by parts for this integral. So I'm going to start by rewriting this. x squared plus 2x sine x minus, and I'm going to start with a bracket here because I'm replacing this integral with this formula. And I want to make sure that this negative gets distributed to every term inside of these brackets. So I'm going to start with u times v and u is 2x plus 2 and v is negative cosine x. So I'm going to write that as negative 2x plus 2 cosine x and then I need to subtract the integral of v du. So v is negative cosine x and du is 2 dx. So I'm going to start by subtracting like the formula says but I'm going to factor out this negative and this 2. So that makes this negative a positive and then the 2 comes out, and then I'm going to take the integral of what was left here, and that's going to be cosine x dx. And close my bracket. So now this is in a form that I can easily integrate. I can integrate uh, cosine x. So I'm going to rewrite this. x squared plus 2x sine x minus my bracket minus 2x plus 2 cosine x. 
plus 2 and the integral of cosine x is sine x and close my bracket. And now all I have to do is distribute this negative into these brackets. So I get equals x squared plus 2x sine x and this negative times this negative makes it a positive 2x plus 2 cosine x and this negative times this positive makes this negative 2 sine x. And we can't forget to add the c here because we were taking an indefinite integral. And it doesn't look like there's any other um, simplifications I can do here, so this looks like that's about as good as it's going to get. On behalf of MathAndSciencePower.com, my name is Joe. Thanks for watching.